have an exciting project today and you'll notice if you look in the background I've cleaned up the workshop a little bit. So I bought a windmill and this is the beginning of the journey of moving my windmill. So um, I'm going to make a skid for it because I don't like the pallet that the seller has it on. So let me get busy with that because I am on a huge time crunch today. And uh, if you have questions or comments, please make them in the space below. And then um, be sure to like and subscribe to my channel. Check out my playlists. I try to group my different things into playlists. So first off, what we're going to do is we're going to cut the lumber down to size so we can make a skid with it. And I'm going to put you guys in time lapse because I really like that for longer stuff. So I got all my material cut, I'm ready to load it in the truck, get my tools together, make my U-Haul trailer reservation, and get on my way to Dallas, where this is, press is coming from. But first, I want to talk just a little bit about what I'm doing. So there is a video on the build of this table and the hood. It's a primitive hood, but it still works, and when it's hooked up to dust collection, it'll catch 90% of the sawdust. But I opted to keep the DeWalt stand because A, I own it, and B, it's only wing nutted on here so I can really easily remove it if I need to take the saw somewhere else for some reason. But these stops are just really handy. So, and, you know, I don't know how much further this goes out. Let's, let's answer that question. Yeah, so it'll hit the machine. I was a little worried with this configuration having the machine in the corner next to the saw. I don't like the sawdust over there, but I only have a standard, well actually it's a large two car garage. I only have space I have, and I have a lot of hobbies and things that I like to do. But this validates the design of the workshop with having the saw on this wall, stock comes in, it gets cut down, and it gets moved over for something else. I got a lot of something else's that need to be done. So it's good to validate this, but basically I'm cutting these as skids. I'm using untreated lumber, it's 75 cents more expensive, but we don't need to make everything toxic in the universe. And then I set the stop to trim the material. These need to be approximately five and a half feet. And then I'm saving the excess because I'm going to make a ladder rack out of that, and that'll be another video. So anyway, let me get it loaded and let's get out of here. <laughs> 